Hey everybody, it's Robert coming to you from the Old Bird Farm. And on this video, we're gonna go ahead and try to start disassembling this porch that's fallen in and getting all of this off the front of the house. So I think that'll be pretty fun. And it actually honestly should go pretty well and pretty quickly. It's just a matter of getting all of this tin off of here and then dealing with the wood. But none of it looks like it's really attached too well. But before we start that, I want to show you guys something I actually meant to show you on the porch video the other day, but was really neat. So let's take a look at that first, then we'll get started here. So going over my collection of different pieces of the birdhouse over here, I meant to show you guys these up here. Let me move them down here so we can look at them a little bit better. So. This is more of that gingerbreading. But this is obviously different. And this is a little bit special. So when I was under the house one day last week, we were poking around under there and found these all under the house. And initially, I thought that these were just more pieces off the porch that had fallen over there, but when I got to take a better look at them, I realized that they do not match the design of any of the other pieces that are on the porch. So I thought that was pretty interesting, and I wonder where they went, if they were originally on this house somewhere. And this is another example of stuff that got changed over the years, or what this is. You can see it was painted white at one point, and it's just been discarded under the house who knows how many years. So if you've ever seen this design before, leave me a comment. I'd love to know where these originally went. That piece has a nail in it. And I wish I knew why they were under the house if they actually were originally on a section of this house. But you can see like they don't match any of the any of the other work that's on the porch and I thought maybe it was a piece of some of this at one point but it's not and obviously it doesn't match these either let's get the best one we've got right here the basic idea of the design is the same fits in with it, but just not quite the same. And when I say the same, it's the same architecture, same design, but uh, pretty interesting, pretty interesting. I wanted to show that to y'all. I like little mysteries like that. And now we're gonna get on over there and get to work. So, so you know what time it is. It's time to cue up the time-lapse music. window it kind of fell towards it and I really don't want to bust this window out so what I'm gonna to try to do is I'm gonna to try to get behind it and push it and we'll guide it over your way and we'll see if we can't get it to fall without busting this window out because I got to replace a lot of windows in this house anyway and I don't want to destroy any original glass
right. That was some pretty sketchy stuff for sure right there. I, uh, if we got it down and didn't destroy the window, I was, I was really worried there for a minute because I was standing on a section of porch over there that has no supports underneath it. And so the wood was, was bouncing up and down under my feet. So I was like, oh man, I hope I don't fall through this when I was trying to push it over. Not for my own safety, but so it didn't fall and hit the window. But we got it down. So I'm glad. We also uncovered some stuff over here. So let's take a look. Right, so we got a lot more wood to go before we can actually call this any kind of done. But I'm already seeing some treasures possibly hidden under there. There's another one of those old porch supports. And I like finding those. I like keeping any of the original detail and wood like that. There's also an old screen door right here. I thought that was kind of interesting. That'll be cool once we uncover it and can take a better look at it. And I like these old green chairs. And there's another another piece of porch support. Interesting. I wonder, is that just a broken piece or is that a little bit of a different design there? I don't know. We'll look at it closer when we get it all the way uncovered. There's the sketchy section of porch I was standing on. As you can see, there's no supports under it. So I was just standing on that thin old wood and it was pretty bouncy. Pretty bouncy. There's that six over six window too. You might be able to see it a little bit better now. And the design work over the door. Well, let's finish getting this done. I uncovered newspaper from 1982. This is the America's Times recorder. And I thought that was pretty neat. It's about almost 40 year old newspaper. Let's see what Columbia roars from pad. Almost looks like a motorcycle I used to have. I had a 1981, I think, XS 1100 Yamaha. I love these cool old pictures with the old cars and stuff. Not that long ago in the big picture, but I still think it's neat. This, what is this? This is 82 as well. Cool stuff for sure. All right, so here we are. Let me tell you what, exactly what I'm doing with all of this. So I've still got to go through this a little bit better, probably with a uh, fine tooth comb, as they say, and see if there's any of this old wood that's salvageable. So I got a pile of this wood, which I mean, most of it's probably not salvageable. A lot of it's rotten, but there's some good stuff in here. Like, well, maybe some of that, but I like saving some of this old wood. And this is also a reason that I've got to get a little pole barn or shelter that I've talked about on previous videos. I've got to get that built out here ASAP to store some of this stuff in. As you can see, obviously we have the porch off of the house for the most part, except for that wood hanging up there. I found another one of those in there. 
and several more of these in there that are in really good shape. I thought this was interesting too, just to see this roof section of porch here. And I thought we'd kind of take a little look at it and see, see if maybe we can date this porch. I mean, all I'm seeing is round nails in the construction of this porch. Well, no, I take that back. That's a square nail right there. And that's a square nail right there. Uh, a lot of round nails too. And this house is kind of a mixture of both. If we look over here on the side of the house, you can see just square nails in on this portion. So it's kind of interesting. Um, again, I'm, I think this house was built about 1880. I'm not 100% on that. It could have been a little bit earlier, but uh, from best I can tell is 1880 is the date. And I just love that overhang over the transom window of the front door there. I was really hoping we were going to be able to get all that wood off of the side of the house today so I could really expose that beautiful stained glass window against the door. But I'm at a point actually that I need to stop. I laid my crowbar down somewhere because I wanted to take apart this section of roof and all of this tin and I can't find it. But that's okay. I am at a stopping point anyway where I've got to go take care of some stuff and head back. Plus, it's getting later in the day and cooling off. But I also was pretty proud to find this support for the porch, which seems to be in good shape still, hidden under all this tin. So this is something else I've got to get up and get it protected pretty soon. So I hope you have enjoyed this today, guys. Um, again, probably a shorter video, and I didn't get half as much stuff as I wanted to get done today, but that's okay because I've got, I've got a lot of time. I've got a lot of time to come out and take care of some of this stuff and uh, shoot you guys some more videos. I hope you've enjoyed this today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.